Okay, I'm recording this a little bit earlier than expected, but welcome back to Basingstoke here in City Bus Manager. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all those in between. My name is Michaela, and welcome back to City Bus Manager here from Basingstoke. So at the moment, this save is becoming really really intensive for my computer as we have a lot of routes going but as you probably just about can make out I have been quite busy off camera so let me explain what I've been up to firstly um, I have created a repaint for the Plaxton Centro we have one here at Basingstoke Depot now um, for a reason I'll explain shortly but it is repainted up as you can see it's fully done that's backwards I haven't even noticed that till just now and I don't know why it's backwards I'll have to fix that somehow I don't know how to do that I think I have to just must be a bug with the actual vehicle. Anyway, we'll ignore that. But also, you'll notice a few other changes. Number one, um, PL08WPA, which is uh, 2101, is back in the regular fleet of the 670 to 80 passenger vehicles. Um, this is just because of route capacities at the moment with the new layouts. I have bought a full fleet of the custom Dennings for the Route 99. That route is now fully operated by our new lovely vehicles. I've not done a route branding yet. I'm going to look into that at a later date. But this corner is what's going to interest you most. As you'll see, we have Omnicities back. What? What do you mean we have Omnicities back? Yes, I've decided that what we're going to do, I just went through and I've just started to basically research all of the buses that we have. Because we, when we're on easy mode, which we are now, we can basically get every single unlock now with the trophies we're on at 998. So I was just trying to find if I could get some more 80 passenger vehicles because we only have the uh, the Sitaro and I ended up getting the Enviro 300. So we have three Enviro 300s at this depot now. Uh, these are two X stagecoach ones up here uh, from Cumbria and one X stagecoach from Manchester. Um, so as you can see, these are now sitting proudly in our fleet here. We have three of those for Basingstoke. But these are the most interesting vehicles up in this corner, once I can turn around. The Omni Cities. We have eight of them in total. These um, really did help in fueling our 80 vehicle um, requirement. 80 plus passenger vehicles, sorry. And these are, if you don't know the plates, all X Newport bus. Now the reason I've done this is, if you don't know, um, over in Wales, Newport bus and Cardiff are now both ousting out their entire diesel fleet for electrics. Newport are nearly done with theirs and these Omni Cities are some of the last diesels going in the fleet. They are the newest ones they have. Well, not newest. They're some of the newer ones they have as well. They're keeping these 11 plates, I believe, at the moment, but they are soon to be replaced. So I thought, why not have that? They've been replaced by some Utongs and we're at about April 2024 in our game now. And they've come to us here at Le Lucy's Local Buses. Now, what are we going to do with today's episode? Well, I'm going to quickly show you what I've been up to. The reason we needed so many 80 plus passenger vehicles is because I've extended two routes to Reading. Now the 101 was actually losing passengers, the passenger numbers were going down um, as we went on. I need to change this back one second. Right, yes, sorry, uh, I just had to change the graphic settings, it was annoying me. So sorry if it gets really slow this save, now I will have to find a way to make that not happen as much. But yes, so what do we do? Well the 101 was actually losing passengers as the days were going, they were just, the numbers were going down and down, and we were using deckers on there. So what we've now got, the 101 is now using 80 plus passenger single deckers, um, so you get a mixture of Sotaros, Omni Cities, Enviro 300s, and it now starts at Basingstoke, not East Oakley. Uh, East Oakley is still being served by the 500, and we're going to reintroduce those stops at a later date on the 500 um, that we had served. And they weren't really making them any numbers anyway, so we might just scrap them. Instead, it starts now in Basingstoke, comes down its original route, and up this way to where it finished originally at Risley, which is, of course, here, sorry, and then it now continues. So instead of going around to the terminus point, which we might reintroduce that terminus at a later date again, it now comes along here. So coming up, it stops here, going down, it stopped. I don't know why these stops keep doing that, it's really weird. But you're going up, it stops here, coming down, it stops at a business park. Now on this road, following, um, I believe here it parallels the, yeah, the 106 and 107 routes, but then it goes through Spencer's Wood alongside the 110 and 107, and it comes up this way through here and then instead of turning at Shinfield like all the other routes down this way because the 107 goes down this way with the 110 along here the 101 comes up this way and down this main road to Reading Station yes I have officially unlocked the section with that and of course we now have most of Reading unlocked and then the other route is the 105 so 105 was originally terminating here at Bergfield uh, Recreational Ground it now goes through this way so there's a stop there now comes up this way 
through these back streets and then onto this main road and then to Reading Station. We are going to be utilising that as well by having some routes based out the Longwater Depot and I'm going to repaint all the Plaxton Centres at that depot soon as well. Now, what we're also going to be doing today, what we're going to be doing today, sorry, is extending another route. Um, I didn't want to do them all off camera and that's going to be our 9 to two route which currently runs sort of like no actually we'll keep these as they are what was the route i wanted to do that was it the 106 i want to extend this to reading station now um but i don't like its terminus here at hound green it doesn't really feel like it goes anywhere so i think what we're potentially going to do is extend it to hook and do a hook to reading route again um but it will go a different routing into reading station um, so we're going to look at that today. Obviously, we're connecting this park and ride to there. So let's have a look at the route and let's extend it. So uh, where's the park and ride? It's up here. Mirror park and ride there. So let's delete the... We'll add another one. We'll add the stop twice. Do that, actually. That works. So add this stop again. Oh, it takes it out, doesn't it? Never mind. We'll put it back in and then we'll just come back to that. So... Right, so that will become the 106 Hound Green to Reading from tomorrow. In fact, if I do this, it should now show up as that. Oh, no, I don't know why it doesn't rename straight away. I think it does it in the next day, the day you need to launch it. So if we go to tomorrow, do we need more ve vehicles again now? No, tomorrow's Sunday, isn't it? Right, Monday. That's fine. We need more bus drivers and buses. But that's fine. We only need electric 80+, plus, which is good. 80+. plus. Wait, what? What does it use? Oh, it's one more thing I need to show off as well, actually. Which I will do. 
the moment. Oh, yeah, it's using the Electro Liners. Okay, um, one more thing I wanted to show off as well. We have two NHS buses now. So one thing I was noticing is this one was coming back and they're needing to refuel or something, and it meant that they were getting delayed. So now we have this bus, which will cover for that. So from tomorrow, this is in the NHS fleet. So if I'm going on to here, we'll just check, actually, that this is okay. So we need to interwork the two, you see. So if we go to L M L M. Where is it? L O L M. There we go. So 19's there. 17's there. So this will be coming in at 8.05. So we want this to go out on 11.05. And then that will go out on the 9.05. That's going to have to go onto there. Which is fine. I hope it doesn't leave. It hasn't already left. 9.05. 10.05. And then that can go on to there for now. And then just going on to here. We want to make sure that in theory... I mean, I don't know if it will do this anyway, but let's have a look. 1205, 1505, 17, 19, 21. Let's put that on there. Just, just to spread them out a bit, so we'll have to keep an eye on that each day. So this will now be on the 905H1 next. Because what was happening is they were coming back to like refuel or whatever will be cleaned and stuff, and if we had to fix them as well, it was just delaying it. So we will actually have two going now on there, just to allow that to be done without delays because if you look at here I'll show you root statistics H1 we had an 8 minute delay there we had a 54 28 a 29 20, 17 you know it was happening every day and we were actually we actually got a fine for it obviously because it's an energy it's a funded route so yeah it is currently climate action day which means we are getting more money for electric buses but there's also a fuel shortage so the fuel price has gone up right what are we up to 19 minutes what can we do now should we do another new route maybe we should I think we should um, we do have um, Phoenix Green up here, you see. And I'm thinking this is ripe for a new route. However, it's obviously going to be a route that will be extended later down the line, so maybe the 98. I don't know. Um, we could do another 500 route, actually, from Hook to Phoenix Green, maybe. Um, for now, let's actually have a new route. Um, what do we have here? There's like two 100 series routes. We have the 104 and the 101. Right, okay. So what are we up to on 100 routes? 107, right? So if we had the 108 be this route, that'd be a bit weird though. The 100 we need to put in. Let's do the 100. That was it. I wanted to do the 100. The 100 is going to be our like express, the most direct route from Reading to Basingstoke. So I was just having a look here. The main road goes. That's one down that way, isn't it? There's one up this way though. It goes up here. Where's it go? Hmm. The roads are very odd round here. There was like a direct road, but I can't remember where it was. Is it this way? Oh yeah, this road. So following this along, goes up here through Turgis Green, up this way, down this road. So it will just go really fast through here to, yeah, okay. So own bus route, the 100 is finally here. We're really not going to have enough money for this, uh, buses for this. Um, but look, <laughs> we'll activate it later. We'll just put the route in for now and I'll get the buses off camera. Right, Basingstoke, we're going to go from stands R to V because A and D is like full at this point. So... Where are we stopping on this? We need to get to that road there. So if we go, we'll follow this way. We'll go through Basing View. Wait, we'll go around Basing View up here. I think this is where the 102 goes, right? Yeah, the 102 goes along here, along this way, around here. And then this is where we're going to follow that main road. So we're going to go around here. OK. Stop there, which is a bit of an odd stop, actually. What goes along here? Nothing really, huh? What if we stop the bus just here? And then there, just so we get in a bit of um, China. We have to stop here, Rudlands. Oh, that's Redlands. Why is it doing that? That's so odd. Okay. And then we're joining with the 503 and stuff along here. I think it's 503 or something along those lines. Sherfield School. Follow this road. Again, we're not going. We're not turning off this main road. Basically, we are just sticking to the main road. It'll be the only route to serve Toilet just Green, which will be interesting. And I've just one stop there. Actually, that'd be even better as well. Be very, you know, realistic in that sense. Um, we'll have a stop here because we might have a local route go down there at some point. We want them to interchange. Just future proof. Uh, might not be like super popular stop, but there you go. Wellington Monument is our next stop. So again, skipping a very very fast route here. Couldn't be called the X1 this really, couldn't couldn't it? But we'll call it the 100. 
Uh, let's stop here and then stop there. Now here we're reaching Risley and I do wonder if maybe we should maybe just dip into Risley and back out again just for this route. Um, just so it has a more... We'll do this. We'll go round here and round this way. No. We've got this way even. Go up here. And then that's not actually a road I need to delete that by the way. And then we'll come around Chapel Lane. Stop on Northern Road. So then that terminus stop will be used in the other direction maybe. That could be interesting. And then... That just brings it into Risley and then back out again. Maybe we'll stop here actually as well on the way in. Just that be a bit different here really. No, actually that's stupid. Uh, scrap that. Okay, back out this way. Along here. I don't know if this will follow this road, but we'll, we'll have a look. What have we got? Um, Beach Hill Road here. Yeah, not really a lot to serve along here, so this is a very express part of the route. Maybe it should come off the main road at this point then. No, well, what we'll do, I don't know what to do. Yeah, this will be interesting. We'll scrap that, go to Wellington Farm Shop, go along here. So it's just a little bit of divert, just to serve Beach Hill, but opposite Trose Lane. No, on Trose Lane actually. Go around that way. Join with the 110 for a bit. Just to the main road. Ooh. And then back onto that road. Just so it's not all A road. There's like a Woodcock Lane thing here, but I don't think that would be served by any buses. So straight to Mere Oak Park and ride. Like so. And then come back out of here, rather than going down that way. And then here... We're going to go into Reading International Business Park. So the 100 will serve this, and then it won't serve Tesco. And now we're just back on the main road we just did the last service on. So now we'll go around the same route as the 105, 106 even. Around this way, we'll stop at the depot. So we can have uh, Reading Long Water uh, Depot. And we can have like the last buses terminate there. We can actually run it from Longwater Depot, potentially. Longwater Avenue. Oh, I hate when it does that on roundabouts. It's so stupid. Longwater Avenue, just in case we'll do this again. Make sure it goes around the right part of that roundabout. We're just going around this main road. Kennett Island Turn. Admiral's Court. And then instead of going that way, we're going to go down this road. I presume you can't go onto this road direct from there, right? You know you can't. Where, where does that turn on? Oh, there. Well, that could be interesting then. Hang on. So instead of going up this way then, we'll go down this main road. Mm, would that be weird? No, we'll go this way. Up here. Down this way. Maybe we'll have an X1 that goes down that main road there. To Crown Street, which joins with another route that I've done, and I'll show you that in a bit. Oh, that joins with the other route, the 101. Up this way. Fry Street. And then... Do we want to go the other way around, maybe, actually? Could be interesting, couldn't it? So, I think this is a two-way road, this road? No, it's not. How the heck does this work? So, we'll go up Duke Street, then. Ugh. The problem with cities is it's very hard to tell where the roads go. Mainly because of the way this um, the game is laid out. To there. And then I presume this is a two-way road? Nope. So, we'll have a one-way road. Brilliant. How do you get to there? How do you get to there? I don't understand. Oh, I guess around there, huh? Yeah. So then, onto King's Road. Oh, what the heck? You can't turn there? Okay. Scrap that. Let's go up this way. Hmm. So there. Round this way. Because I want to do it on the other opposite side of Reading Station, basically. So there to Forbury. There we go. And then Forbury Road and Reading Station, like that. Um, that'll be its terminus point. And then it will start on the other side of the road. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, we'll do that. So it starts there, but it terminates here. just dumps everyone off there. Um, in fact, no, I'll tell you what. They can start on Rail Air Coach. Rail Air Lounge, we'll just rename that to Reading Station. Uh, we'll give these names in a bit. 
Uh, can't upgrade anything, not got any money. Can you go down that road? You can go back down the same road. Okay, good. Well, then we'll stop it there. We'll give it a stop name in a bit. I don't know what it will be, but we'll find out soon. Forbury. Come down this way. And then it goes to here. Because this is another one-way system. Lots of one-way systems in towns these days and cities like Reading. It's quite a nightmare. Brilliant. There we go. Right. Let's pipe this in the other way. And I'll do the timetable and stuff as well. But I'll do that probably off camera. So to here. Oh my lord, why does it do that? It's so annoying. Right, where am I? Up here, up this way, down to here. Good. 100 long water. 400 long water. 500 long water. Long water depot. Rename that. Oh, that's so annoying. It does that. How about there? Reading Jason Long Water Depot to Lime Square, going the other way. Did I stop the right Lime Square? Don't know. Yeah, good. As long as it did. Costco. Skip the distribution centre around the business park, which it'll do like a big circle around, because that and then here we're going on the main road so we'll just put a waypoint here to make sure it goes the right way and then to there will it do that right or will it be annoying no it will do it right good okie dokie don't actually need that waypoint there technically but there you go oh what has it done here oh is that not oh okay well let me get rid of that then maybe the beach hill bit was pointless well, I'll tell you what we'll do then. What if we go down this way? Is that better? Yeah, it's going a weird way though. I want it to like join the main road again. Can you not go this way? Oh no, because it'd be a different way, wouldn't it? I'm smart. So get rid of that. I guess what we'll have to do then is stop like on this road maybe. So we'll go, instead of stopping there for St. Mary's Church, we'll stop here. And we'll rename that later. And then we'll stop on this road up here somewhere. So again, just maybe adding a little bit of the route that's a bit odd. But I think it'll be okay. I think it looks kind of okay. Maybe we should go through Grazley then. That'd be a good idea actually, yeah. Because we conserve this finally, can't we? We'll go this end of the town. And then up here. Because there's like a school here, right? So we'll stop there for the school. And then there's Mere Oak Lane here, which... There's a turning up there to something, so maybe we'll stop there as well. Just to junction off, and then it will go scrap that. Right, okay, that works. Yeah. So, three mile cross, Mirak Park and Ride, and then back down this way. Okay. This is interesting. I just think I've created an even more interesting route than I was initially going to do. I didn't notice that error before. Again, one problem. With the moment, at the moment with this save is it's becoming very intensive on the computer. So um, hopefully it doesn't like run away and cry at some point. This computer. What we'll do then, coming back, we'll stop on Tro's Lane again. So on Tro's Lane, come back round. Don't know if you'd be doing this Ben in real life, but we're going to just say the buses do just for interest, and then down to Faircross check a lane, which again at that point I think it meets with is this the the 107? That's it from Bramley. So it's, if you interchange with more routes in theory, people will use this, the other routes more, I believe. What have I done here? Oh, we're going into Rising, that's why, yeah. So coming back, we'll go to Norton Road Terminus. Round Chapel Lane, which I don't think you actually could go down with a bus in real life, but it's fine. And then stop there on the way back. And then to here. Park Corner Farm, we'll have that two-way stop. The kennels. Again, this is all a, a unique part of the route. Wellington Monument there, we'll stop opposite it. Um, we'll go down that road I'm sure at some point in time. And now we're back on the main road again, right? Um, yeah, this is that main road, this bit we're on now, so stop there. Just again, interchange for potential future routes. Actually, we'll have it come here just to be sure that it can interchange with the route, because it'll probably turn down there. Or the road on the other side. Stop! 
doing that game? Don't know what that just sent me then. Okie dokie, that's Beach Hill, Risley, cool. There we are. Uh, Stratfield, Turgis. What a strange name for a place, Turgis. Who comes up with these names? Stop there for the stop back, so it's not quite at the Londis, but it's near it. Spanish Green, pretty sure I'd have stop at, but it's fine. Oh, stop it. Where am I now? We have a stop in the Spanish Green officially, so I guess that's not too bad. Down this way, Sherfield School. What are we working with here then? Into working with the 503. This is good. To have it into work with so many routes is good because people will use the other routes more as well. Um, and we don't have to worry about people getting on this bus and being a bit annoyed they can't really get anywhere as well. So it's, it's good that it interworks with so many services. Toll House. And then we'll have the stop coming back. We'll have it there as well actually because people might... Again, we can interchange with other routes there, you see. Um, Gaston's Wood Estate. Reading Road to China Park. Again, back with the 102 here. Coming back. These are all two-way stops by mistake, but look, it'll have to do now. Because it's fine. And then here we have to go round Basing View, because obviously um, it's a one-way system. There's a stop up here, look at that. Phenom, Phantom House. Don't know how you get there without be an awkward place to serve, wouldn't it? You'd have to go by one way. Maybe we'll do a little circuit around Basing View or something. And back to the first stop. Brilliant. Basing Stoke to Reading. 100 service is finally in. I will set up the timetable at a later date, so we'll just confirm that for now and activate bus route later. But there you go. The 100 is in. So we'll get the colours right, and then we will uh, have a look at that. So just to double check, the service goes from here in Basingstoke, all the way up this main road. It then does do a little dive off into Risley, and then off the other side of the road and up this way. And the only reason I did this is I was thinking, we're going to have a massive gap in routes. But what we'll probably do is, especially if this does get a lot of passengers, we'll have an X1, and it will just go straight up this road to the park and ride, and then straight up this main road. And it will actually stop at less places to go down this bit here, and then into Reading Station, just like a Super Express version. I think that will be good, and I think you guys will like that too. What I'm going to do now... Um, between parts and um, what I'm doing I'm recording this this week so I have more time to work between parts so this has been recorded the week before it's going out um, I'm going to do various bits between parts where I'll actually work on the money situation I'm going to pay some loans off as well um, for this save anyway guys thank you all for watching I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of City Bus Manager I've been Lucy McKayla and I will see you next time goodbye for now <laughs>